Hit his area with 51. Everything in the butterflies. Go get your man. And I feel like butterfly gonna recap this. So all oh, y'all wanna know what happened. I'm gonna tell you what happened. He got smoked. Rounds, cause my Glock is sober. The chains are spiritual around my neck. My ice runneth over. Oh, you a snake in the grass? Okay, well, I put the knife to Cobra and get the squeeze in. John Morant, proud of 90 soldiers. I gang. You already know what it is, man. Salute to the subscribers, that notification gang, etc., etc. Don't let none of that get too far ahead of you. You know who I be. Follow me on IG, Vada underscore fly. Tell your mama I say hi and salute. To my brother, Showtime SP, I want to get this started. I was watching Verb and Goods on a stream yesterday, and they were talking, you know what I'm saying? They, they brought up a lot of things, and I got to say salute to Verb. I got my uh, St. Louis joint on today, you know what I'm saying? Because uh, I be hearing what people be saying, and I be hearing this like, bro, I'm, I'm from the Show Me State. Like, at this point, I'm not going back and forth with nobody online, nobody on none of these free apps. You got to show me. I'll be a lot of places you're going to have to show. That, we're just going to leave it there. Moving along. Salute to everybody for all the love and support. We truly appreciate it. Y'all watching and, you know what I'm saying, everything that we got going on. And that's what we're going to continue to do around here. Uh, Easy to block, Captain, has been the topic of a lot of the news recently. Uh, everybody's been talking. And the funny thing is, I don't understand how your opinion when it comes to people, everybody out here, People get mad at your opinion about an opinion. So someone can have an opinion about something and your opinion about that can make someone up. Who has time for that? Who has time for that? Trust me, I, I, I'm just letting you know, there is nothing that anyone, like especially online, can say or do that's gonna stop anything that we got going on over here. You already tried, you already tried, you already tried. So let's just, Let's just keep it all flowing and keep it on going. I think that's the best way because I'm not jumping online to talk about none of you niggas. I'm just being honest with you. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to my, my big homies up there. Where they at? I was in a meeting yesterday and somebody hit me up who I don't even really speak to or never really spoke to me to tell me what someone else said. And I said, if my first communication with you ever is you telling me what someone else, I don't give a f What kind of shit is here? Fuck, I'm a bit, I'm a be, and you should love it. Way more than you hate it, nigga, you mad? I thought that you'd be happy. But anyway, let's move on. So Verb and Goods are having this conversation, and it's about a lot of things, you know what I'm saying? They was talking about Danny Myers, and I got a clip from that, and I'll play that. And Danny said everything was in jeopardy. You, you ever heard them say that to you? You ever felt like... <laughs> Yo, listen, I don't compare people to to certain, like to us, or to certain people like that came from our, you know, our era. With Danny, man, Danny did what he had to do for him. You know what I'm saying? Danny got kids, Danny got a family to take care of. The smart move was for Danny to do what he did. Yeah, for sure. You, you can't think about what a fan or a supporter got to say. And I, I love the fans, I love the supporters, but when I, my family come before that. So with Danny, he got 28 kids, his family come before that. You gotta take care of 28 kids and like five grown. Yeah, why is you sticking that? Extra? So everybody's on this contract, contract, contracts. Contracts have ruled the timeline. It's funny how it's more promotion about these contracts, about all this other shit than an actual event going on. Gnome Impact is this weekend. Gnome Impact. If you don't know, let somebody know. Gnome Impact. I don't want to see no tweets about nothing else but Gnome Impact. Gnome Impact. Gnome Impact. No, 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 no. Shout out to the artists that are on the card. What about? Rock and Geechee, Twerk and Rum Nitty. We not even talking about them. This shit is crazy. I've never seen nothing like this before. But no impact, no impact, no impact. Hope, hopefully it turns out as good as it could be. You know what I'm saying? Because like I said, I'm not here for one league. I'm sorry if I'm not here for one league. I'm sorry. I got to say, to anybody out there that doesn't like me, I have to apologize. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I'm not here for one league. I was, and we're going to get to that too because that messed up a lot of my relationships because... I was such a great flexer. People thought I had money before I had it, but let, we'll get back to oh, that. Yeah. But I, I once I got the Rolex, and I was like, "Yo, this is crazy." Now I'm sorry, niggas called me and didn't call you. I'm sorry. Like, what can I do? What can I do? Um, so uh, you know, the contract shit comes out, and everybody's like, "You got people talking." Some people are saying, "Easy shouldn't have signed it." I said it myself, and I say it again, "Easy." I 
would never sign with no niggas for five years. I don't care what the league is with an option for six. I just wouldn't do it because I don't know where I'm going to be in five years. You have niggas that still try to talk about me from five, six, seven years ago that I'm in a totally different space. You don't know where you can be in five years. In five years in battle rap, what MC has been hot for the past five years? That's a long time is all I'm saying. Y'all do what y'all want. You know what I'm saying? And I would always suggest, because I know a lot of MCs and people watch this content, get a lawyer to read your paperwork. You know what I'm saying? You guys got to get smart. You got to be more vice. You have to. You know what I'm saying? It might be a battle where you get a check and that whole check has to go to a lawyer because they're securing your future. You know what I'm saying? Like they're, they're the ones who gonna read over? I have a lawyer. I don't even rap, and I have a lawyer. Oh shit, I have a lawyer. Yes, I do. Shout out to Jim Bo. I have a lawyer who looks over everything, who makes sure shit is trademarked, who makes sure that everything is in line. I have to pay them. You know what I'm saying? I don't rap, but at the same, I do rap, but I don't rap like that. But you should get a lawyer. That's all I'm saying. We can avoid a lot of these conflicts and situations if people get lawyers. You know what I'm saying? I took my kids to the movie. Uh, the day before yesterday, I took my kids to the movie. Today, I got a smoothie. My life is groovy. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> ah, dear hater, I won. Let's keep going. So, you know, when it comes to this shit, I was reading about some contracts. You know what I'm saying? I'm not putting all that paperwork up here. I don't want to do it. I'm not. I saw it. You are all saying that they're basically trying to imply that Easy's under his contract. Easy, I seen some stuff from him that has his side of it. I'm not putting his paperwork online. And I'm not putting, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's just not what I want to do. I've seen it out there, but whatever the case may be, if you haven't saw it, you can go read it. And what, the, what they're implying is that when Easy bucked the system and left, you know, he tried to allegedly use this whole beef. They said a beef, you know what I'm saying? They were saying beef. They put beef in the paperwork, you know, alleged beef as smoke and mirrors. Y'all niggas got beef. I don't think... <laughs> Ain't no alleged. Ain't no alleged. Y'all see the shit y'all doing to them? Uh, y'all see the shit he's doing to y'all like he was trending. He sold a good number. A good number. I know the number. I'm not going to say his number because then, you know, they put this in the damn paperwork. <laughs> watch what I say over here. I have to watch what I'm saying because it ain't my fault. I don't want to end up in court. Saying some shit, you know what I'm saying? Like, now you got to really watch because these niggas will really watch your whole content skim and chop and do this and do that, bro. I don't want no issues. I don't want no issues. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Let's keep it moving. Um, so they try to allege that he's under, well, they're saying it. They put it in the paperwork. He's under a five year contract with an option for six. Now, was they wrong for making it or was he wrong for taking it? That's just whatever y'all, however y'all want to see it. I said a lot of these children in these environments is like bad record deals. Boy, they ain't no see fucking it, way, boy. they see the glitz, boy, the glory, no way, the glam, man. the fame, and a lot of them just sign. No I don't way, know if that's boy. what he did, but a lot of them just sign. It's not just him. He's not the only one. He's just the first one to really vocally come out and do and say something about it. I don't got no dog in that fight. I talk about the news. That's what I'm here for. Whoa, 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 hey, 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 hey. I just talk about what goes on. You might not like what I say, but I really don't give a fuck about it. That's your business. There's nothing you can do. Nothing. Even as you're watching this, please let's let's not do this. So, um, you know, so this goes on, and I was reading about the NBA contracts. Even an NBA rookie deal, the max is four years. Two years player, two years team option for the third and fourth year. That's for a first round draft pick, like a lottery pick. First through 14, and then 14 through 30. Like, that's their contract. Two years guaranteed, two years league option. If you're undrafted, you could sign like if you're undrafted, second round pick, you can sign for two years. You can sign for it's a team. It's at the team's discretion at that point. But the max they can sign you is four years, but the first two are guaranteed. So I, you all got six. They must be better than the fuck. They're better than the NBA. They call themselves the NBA. They're better than the NBA with bigger deals than these niggas are getting longer deals than the NBA. I mean that should count for something, right? I, I mean it is what it is. It should count for something. So easy went on. Um, Harlem Legend and Quad, salute to uh, Too Real for Battle Rap. Salute to Harlem Legend and Quad, man. Like, real shit. I love what they're doing. They're not gonna like y'all either. I'm telling you, they're not gonna like you either. But they go over to their channel, Too Real for Battle Rap. Subscribe, watch a video, jump up in the comments, and let them know. Go uptown to Harlem. Tell them that I sent you. Salute to them and everything they got going on. You know what I'm saying? Um, 
So they had Easy. He's the that's the only interview that he did on their platform where he explained his whole situation and how he's already moving his way and how they doing what they doing. It is what it is at this point. Hopefully, it turns out the best for all parties involved. Now, Verb and Goods, you know what I'm saying? Their conversation was funny as hell. They was going in on Danny, uh, basically saying that he was told that his everything was in jeopardy. Uh, and they were saying that they only pull that with people who they can pull it with. Don't get mad at the messenger. I am just reaching. It's Beasley now, man. It's like the Why way they, they do shit. I feel like everything is, I wonder what they said man, there. That's what I'm saying. What did Beasley say to him? Beasley said something graphic to that man to make him say, <laughs> oh my God. I don't listen, but, that, but that's Bruh. the thing, man. I don't, I don't Bruh, care. To make Beasley say. What can Beasley say to you and you say, <laughs> oh, my God, I'm too high for this shit. What? And maybe can Beasley, Jeopardy? Yeah. What can Beasley say to you on, on this planet that can make you say, bitch, everything is in Jeopardy? <laughs> <laughs> man, I'm too high for this shit, man. Yeah, when they pulled my caffeine show, I said that. Oh, man, everything in Jeopardy, man. man. <laughs> everything hey, in dog. Jeopardy. Hey dog, I'm too high for this shit. Cause it's like, bro, what the fuck? I have never. Why would nah, be, but why would somebody yeah. say then? Like, nah, for real, for real. Yeah, just, I, I don't, don't know what. what that's what I'm. I'm trying to figure out, man. What did Beasley what say? And you know what? I want to ask Beasley. Hey, what you tell that nigga? You know what I'm saying? Cause it's like, what? What did you say to Danny Myers? I really want to know. Man, really everything in jeopardy, know. nigga. <laughs> because but, look, I. Right. I'm a something that I saw and I thought it was a very good conversation. Um, Verb and Goods was talking about how hard it is to get battles booked nowadays. Verb said, him and Swamp is not booked because nobody sent them the money. For That's what he's telling me. That's what he's saying on the live stream. It is what it is. Goods is saying the same thing about him versus Calico. Him versus Cal ain't booked because nobody really wants to pay for it. They said they'll pay them to battle some other people, probably new guys, but they won't pay him to, you know, battle um, against each other. I don't know if they don't feel the battle is worth it. I don't know if they feel like the, it costs too much. You know what I'm saying? And if you're going to pay that twice, you might as well pay that to try to promote two new people. I get it. Trust me. I do. I get the business. It's like, yo, the, the thing that we can't grow these new guys without getting them bigger looks. So why would we put two legends or two top tiers against each other when we could split this brick up? Have him go to the east with a pack, have him go to the west with a pack, and hopefully they both do good so we can level them up. I totally get it. I'm not mad at it either. I would probably be doing the same thing. Goods probably cost over 30. Cal, I know he cost over 30. Those are, those are big prices right there. That's gotta hit. You got if, if you book a battle like that, it's gotta be a hit. It can't miss, you know what I'm saying? Because it's a big, deep, steep investment. You know what I'm saying? It's a steep, that's a steep investment for any company, regardless of the platform. Uh, and, uh, and you know, they was talking about uh, that. They were talking about battles not getting booked. They was talking about talent, new talent. They was talking about all the politics and shit that be going on. Y'all be thinking it's just the bloggers that be speaking about the politics or the bloggers this, the bloggers that. Oh, so many people come here every day. Like, I, I, I can't understand it. Why are all these big platforms doing over 10,000 views, 20,000, 30,000? They filling up the Staples Center doing views, talking about the things that are going on. So you gotta like it, it's gotta be provocative. Why are you watching it? I don't watch, uh, what's um, I used to watch, uh, what's his name? Uh, Flight 360, Flight, whatever his name is, uh, Flight 23, what, y'all know the fucking blogger, the Flight dude, right? I forgot, it. Flight something, Flight Club, whatever his name is. And I would watch it a little bit, and I seen some of the things that he had going on, and yada, yada, yada. And then I just seen like everything started being scripted. They were scripting fights and they were scripting pretty much everything. You know what I'm saying? And I say that to say this. I know, what's his name? Flight Reacts. Flight Reacts is his name. I wanted to get it right. Flight Reacts. And after a while, it just started getting a little, 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 huh, to me, a little corny to me. Not him, but just the whole show. And I stopped watching it. And when I stopped watching it, it stopped popping up in my algorithm. Like I just never seen it again. It doesn't hope all is well with whatever he got going on. I say that to say this, if you don't like a blogger, you don't like what they're going, you just click on their channel and click don't recommend it, and they'll never pop up again. But people still watch it. It's all I'm saying. If, you know, lovers, haters included. If you don't like someone, why do you watch it? I would never. But uh, let's keep it moving. So uh, Goods and, and Verb is two people that's right now, they're speaking about their battles not getting booked. 
They're speaking about the politics in Battle Rap. They're speaking about all the things that go on. And they're speaking about, you know, I think they were speaking about the contract. Yeah, they were speaking about the contract situation too. Uh, it is what it is. I know a lot of y'all feel like, oh, there's this going on, there's that going on. It ain't really that much going on. It's a couple events. We cover the events. And after that, it's pretty much easy in the algorithm. <laughs> I'm sorry. Like, it's just the way it's going right now. I don't make it up. You know what I'm saying? Can't chill. Got to pay bills. Why do you think everybody going to talk about the hot subject? Oh, I want to talk about something else last. You know what I'm saying? Let's just, you know, it's kind of early. You know, some hate woke me up. You know what I mean? Hate is like an alarm clock. It like actually wakes me up and gets me influenced to do things at an earlier time. I swear, normally I'd be sleeping because I got to go out at two. But I'm like, oh, I just, I just can't let them think that I give a fuck about them. Let's wake up. It wakes me up. It's like an alarm clock. So, uh, you know, I'll give you the dates when things are happening and you could do it before and I can wake up again and be really good. So, uh, yeah. Um, so, Jim's said salute to Jims and everything he's got going on I spoke to him yesterday too and shout out to everybody that I spoke to all the MCs all the artists I could say a couple uh Diz I ain't never spoke to Diz before me and Diz is, is I ain't never had we did in the past 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 had a little I don't know what it was about but it doesn't really matter because I had an issue with Big K it was public even ARP said it and I didn't know where it was gonna go and I just had him on one of the top three networks in New York so I don't, I, you know what I'm saying? If I could squash that, we could dead it, we could, he unblock me, and I, you know what I'm saying? We good. So if I could, if I could dead that, me and Diz is super good. He's got shit going on with GTX that's gonna happen. He's got another really, really big announcement that's gonna happen for later on in the year. I'm not really gonna get into it, and I'll probably be in LA sometime too. You know what I'm saying? I, if you're a big league, you got some, yo, in big league, small league, you got some motion going, make it happen. You know how to find me. I ain't hard to find. So, um, He's got some things going on. Uh, spoke to like clips, I, you know, clips is clips, you know what I mean? That's my guy. Uh, and I'm hearing a lot of big people, you know what I'm saying, that I'm speaking to and I got no issues with, you know what I'm saying? So if I, if I could have conversations with the higher, higher levels, if you're down, down, down here, it, it, I'm sorry, I got nothing for you, you know what I'm saying? No doubt, no free clout. So, um, you know, he's just controlling the algorithm right now. So Jim says, salute to Jim's and everything that he's got going on, that's my geyser, uh, that easy, has uh has taken away the pocket is more popular than surf or taking the popularity away from I'm gonna, I'm gonna say since since he said since surf been gone easy has been the most popular you know what i'm saying and that tweet it got a lot of reaction not gonna lie there was a lot of people uh debo comes out why are you using surf's name in the first place you could have just said hottest battle rapper y'all gotta chill so uh they the people was really getting mad because he said since surf's been gone that uh easy's been you know, the, 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 the biggest battle rapper or whatever the case may be, or the most popular, or whatever, however he said, you know what I'm saying, the most popular. Because Easy also announced that the trenches would be released on um, Chrome 23. And that was probably the reason why they wanted to... <laughs> that was probably the reason why they wanted to get them niggas away from him. I don't blame you. Listen, you're all, I ain't mad at you. I ain't mad at you. Get that nigga away from from. <laughs> You better get him away because uh, people are hot. So they're saying that Jim's didn't word it right. Okay, so Suge said you just didn't, you didn't word it that way before. So Jim says, so you dirty heathens that somewhat found my offense to my last tweet. You're trying to debate that Easy isn't the most popular battle rapper since Surf been locked, SMH. Hate is one thing, but y'all just living in a false reality. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, cause when you say something like that, when you say it, when you, when you jump on, <laughs> When you say, and, and Jim's knows, you know what I'm saying? Like when you say something that's attention grabbing, like somebody's the best at something, someone can do something better than everyone. Oh, it's going, <laughs> it's going to shake. It's definitely going to shake. So Jim's was like that Easy's the most popular or since Surf's when he's took the clout or whatever the case may be. Uh, I, I do feel like, you know, Surf had a different level of popularity, a different level of fame. He had moved into the music industry. Uh, he was doing his thing. He had tape with Mozzie. Uh, you know, he was getting a lot of attention from a lot of high level people. His album charted on Apple Music and things like that. So with the things that he was doing, it was battle rap and it was like Surf when it came to like outside popularity and moves and shit that he was doing. He could get Jada Kiss on the song. He could get uh, Benny the Butcher. He could get artists that battle raps can't even get on the phone with. I'm just being honest with you. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is like the honesty part. I'm not about to cap at all. So he was doing things um, 
He was doing things that people were not doing in here. So when he leaves the culture for however amount of time, and I hope all is, you know, works out with him, and, you know, he gets back to doing it, what, he, what we know he can do. When he leaves the culture, well, and especially when he was real pro, pro, pro heavy, one side, when he leaves that situation, there's going to be an impact, and there has been an impact. Like I said, no impact is coming up. I see more tweets about easy. Focus on the event. It's a big main event going on. I will watch it. I will recap it. I seen a tweet from my man earlier today, and I'm going to finish this gems in one second. And he said something that, that really, and I don't really be reading people's tweets like about me, like good or bad, or whatever the case may be. He said something we don't say enough is how Vodafly is pushing the culture forward. He was really the first to review app battles. He consistently gives shout outs to lesser battlers, gives credit to other bloggers, salute to the boy, because he could have went Hollywood years ago. And A double 214 Adrian Price, I think I'm following you. It's 100% true. Like, bro, when we was, we was recapping ad battles when it wasn't cool to do. You know what I'm saying? Like, we was really doing that. And we still do it. And, you know, it, it'd be funny sometimes. You know what I mean? Like, like that, that really impacted a lot. So I'm speaking from a blogger's perspective. And I'm spe sitting here speaking. I can speak credit for Jim's and I can say where he might have worded it wrong. When you take the most, the biggest battle rapper, when you put that word biggest battle rapper or, you know what I'm saying, most popular, like people automatically put Surf in that spot even if he's not here. Mentally, they put him there. So when you put somebody else in there, you're kind of putting them in someone else's quote unquote spot. I really don't care. But it could be conceived as condescending to the individual that you was referring to. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, now he's dropped down. I don't think that. I, I know where you were going. Since that spot is a vacancy, somebody sits in that place and he's now, but you're, when you do that, you're putting him above everybody else. And the people, a lot of them, whether they like, disliked, or kind of like Surf being in his position, you understood why. You know what I'm saying? That's what you, you understood why. No matter how you felt, you understood why he was there. He comes out against Rum Nitty, he only spits two rounds. People's like, oh my God, I'm a, oh, surf must go, surf must go. And he could get back in front of a camera. He could jump back in front of a camera, charm his way through, nice cut with the waves and the chains and the Mary jeans and the Prada belt and the Gucci shoes and all. He could get back in front of that camera, talk his shit, and then he could go win a battle. He could go have a horrible battle. He could go win two, three battles. You never knew what you was going to get with him. And then he became an anomaly at the end of his career. Not the end of, well, the, the end of this part of his, because Surf's career will start, it'll stop, he'll get out, it'll start again. And I'm not saying like start his whole career over, but it takes breaks and pauses in between because of unfortunate situations where I hope you, you know, learns from this one. So <laughs> when you say that, you put him above everybody. And a lot of people that's below that is not going to go for that. I understand why you said it. <laughs> I do. Salute to you. I do understand why you said it. Even Rock said it, man. Salute to Tay Rock and everything that he's got going on. Um, my brother Sue Surf is battle rap. Dish lost its whole spine and brain when my dog left. Y'all, it's need to be put in check. And he's speaking from the perspective of knowing that the brain and the spine have left someone. And once the brain and the spine leave someone, they're gone. It, the, it's, a, it's a shell of itself. You will die. You cannot live without a brain. It is what it is. So he says that for a purpose because the only person that would have really been able to have the top level talks or be the spokesperson for a brand is not here. You know? But Surf was able to, when he talked about certain things, they would grab it off there. They would put it on Instagram. They would put it on Facebook. They would put it on Twitter. And it would spread like wildfire. He had that clout. He could speak for the league. If he said, said battle rapper ain't worth the money that they get, I don't know this person's name. Oh, you want to battle me? Nah, JC can't battle me. You got to battle four niggas first. Whatever his narrative was, all right, I'm ready to take you now. Oh, I'm not even going to really practice for you. I'm going to beat you just because I'm going to beat you. And then go out there and 3-0. Oh, John, 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 John can't beat me. I'm telling you right now. He chased me all these years. He could talk crazy about you, then go out there and actually do it. See, that's the reason he was like the neighborhood hero for them. Because he could say something and do it. Make it happen, clout up. Get bigger than name, recognition. Drake card, this. Drew, like, hey, that's what he was able to do. It's not a lot of people that's able to make those kind of moves and keep excelling and keep growing. And when that gets stopped, it's like, oh, fuck. You know? I don't wish that, though. I don't wish his situation on nobody. I'm going to be honest with you. My brother's sitting. 
Got like another year left. He's been down for 21. I don't want no body in those situations, in those conditions, sitting in jails. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't, who wants that for somebody? I don't want that for anybody. People be saying like, oh, y'all be, I be like, bro, we want him free. I spoke to him. This, like, I spoke to him. This, this final day is here. I didn't put our conversation out, but I, you know what I'm saying? Like, we was good. That's my guy. You know? <laughs> Ask have I said something. Money-wise. You know what I'm saying? It don't got to be the greatest. It don't got to be the smallest. But I've done that, and I'll do it again. You know? His management. I can tell you his management. Where if y'all want to put something on his little, uh, on his, on his uh, commissary and all that, you can. Why? Because I've done it. <laughs> Mango, RB, like, I, Raw Bunch. I've I seen them on, you know what I'm saying? Like, I know who they are. Salute to them. I want them to win. You know, so when you say stuff like that, it's like, come on, bro. Like, we're not doing that. So we we have to preserve our people that's in the culture as much as we can, you know what I'm saying, and make sure that we embrace them and embody them while they're here. So anyway, uh, blog probably a little bit longer, and I hope it's greater. You know what I'm saying? I woke up early because of my haters. Have a great day, man. And uh, smoothie. Wow, wow, I got like a new smoothie section. It's amazing. You guys should try it sometime. I promise you. I get like a strawberry lemonade. Go get a strawberry lemonade smoothie if you're near a Wawa. And then you jump in the comments and let me know how you feel about it. But, uh, haha, <laughs> holla. Shout out to my SP told me, cuz go ahead, switch the style up. If niggas hate, then let them hate and watch the money pile up.